Hi, flower friends! I'm on the porch! And I look hideous today, and that's okay. So, I got home from work today. Look at this hair. And I, um, my arm's tired already, and I just put this camera in my hand. It's a little too close. You're on my seat. So I got home from work today, and there was this um, package, a package, in front of my door, and it was addressed to my husband which is not unusual, it happens all the time. So I texted him like, you got a package? He's like, okay, cool. So he gets home about 20 minutes after I did, and he goes, this is actually your package. I was like, excuse me, is this your name on? No, 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 I bought you something. What? Oh, that's always special. Oh, that's always fun, right? So <laughs> I keep having to go down lower to be on the, on the camera. So anyway, where's Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt's right here with the puppy. Hi. Uh, he bought me a chalkboard for my bouquet bar because I didn't have. Oh. He bought me a chalkboard thingy, standy thingy because I have this one. Oh my gosh, guys. Ugh. I have this small one, whiteboard on one side, which my daughter drew on and then chalkboard on the other side. And that's what I was trying to use at my bouquet bar, trying to write down all the prices for all the different stems. And I kept writing smaller and smaller and smaller and people couldn't see it. It was hidden behind the sunflowers. And um, so what a sweet Brad Pitt, I swear. I love him. Okay, so check it out. It's awesome. It's gorge. It's gorge. Look, listen guys, remember I'm painting my porch. I know it looks horrible. I'm painting the porch. The paint's downstairs. Um, and I didn't, don't want to paint the porch. I want to stain the porch, but the previous owner painted the porch, so I have no choice. Okay, so this is gorgeous. It is not only one-sided, it is oh, two-sided. And it came with, it's in my pocket, I think. No, it's inside. It came with some chalk and an eraser. But then look what else Brad bought. He bought me these thingies. They're chalk markers. I was selling bloody old, it was three for five dollars. Um, chalk markers. He said because white would just be boring. Of course it would. So I get to be like a person who works at a deli and write the specials on the board. I am pumped. Guess what else I'm excited about? I can't be this close. I don't like being this close. I gotta get my tripod out of the trunk. So I, my tripod's in the... Guys, I just keep catching whiffs of basil. There's so much stuff on my porch. It's amazing. And these wonk and tomatoes that are still here cat facing, don't care. It's from, um, so if this happens to the top of your tomato, it's actually not called cat facing. This is what happens to your tomato if it gets uneven watering. It's kind of like a stretch mark. You know how you get stretch marks if you gain weight too fast? Well, the water gained, or the tomato gained weight too fast in the form of water and it stretched its skin and that's basically a tomato stretch mark. What, 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 what? what? He's in the garage. Go to the garage. Um, Axel wants to know where Brad is. In the garage. Um, he's in the garage like I'm on the porch. Okay, so guess what, okay. At Distraction Nation, right? Um, I'm excited because Gina, flower friend Gina, is actually on her way here. She's on her way here to the porch. She's coming here. And she's bringing oh, such a harvest. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna, once again, pay her for her flowers and then I'm gonna come, pair her flowers and my flowers and have this huge bouquet bar this weekend. I'm actually gonna do two. I'm gonna do one Friday, I'm gonna do one on Saturday. And um, some other even more exciting things might be happening on Sunday. Should I tell you? Okay, okay, I'm so excited because I was sitting at my job at a school district, re editing videos, because that's what I do. Um, when I'm not flower farming, and I had an email from Dr. Alan Armitage. Sound familiar? <laughs> He's the author of this book. Apparently, y'all broke his website because I posted about his book being 
available on the website where it's $262 on Amazon and it's $40 and he signs it for you. Did I, did I, I told you that right. Hi, flower friend. Come on now, Dr. A. So Dr. A said, um, you broke my website. No, he didn't say I broke his website, but he said he started to get a couple of orders trickling in, which is pretty normal. I mean, he's a world famous horticulturist and he is Dr. A. He is the flower doctor. He knows everything. And he said, but then a few dozen more orders started to come in and I had to investigate why my books were selling. And so he has offered to come and do a a video with me. What? What? So I'm seriously like, guys, I swear I'm, there's gonna be a day where I don't tear up. Okay, so um, I'm going to be doing a video with Dr. Armitage. Oh my God, guys, it's ridiculous. Oh my God, okay. And uh, we're just gonna chat. We're gonna talk about cut flowers and he's gonna tell me stories and um, I'm gonna record it and then I'm going to post it as a YouTube video. And I'm so excited. And he said he's, he's trying to <laughs> increase his supply of the specialty cut flowers. So if, um, if you go on his website and order it and it says that it's sold out, he is getting more. So he told me to tell you guys that. Also, there's some, some problems with shipping to some locations. I'm gonna talk to him about that and see if um, he can make some exceptions maybe. Maybe if you guys wanted to pay a couple extra dollars to ship. I know Australia was having a hard time with shipping. Anyway, you guys are awesome. That was like amazing and he he's so excited. He found me on YouTube and Instagram now and we've been emailing back and forth. And whoa guys, Dr. Armitage, Dr. A. He's coming and he's gonna be on a video with Flower Hill Farm. He, we're gonna have coffee together on my porch. Virtually. Happening. Okay, so, um, I don't got it. That's it. How do I follow that up? Genus flowers. I guess that'll work. Brad Pitt's checking for apples. Oh, he's getting one. He's getting an apple. <laughs> Gina's here. Gina's here. She's coming up the driveway. It's Gina. <laughs> I got that. I already got that. Where's Brad Pitt? I got him. I'm ready. Backseat Cydia's. New name for the flowers. <laughs> Veda said this is her favorite. I love it. Okay, so it is the next day. Uh, Gina came, Gina left. Gina brought me an incredible amount of flowers. I literally just take a moment right now to appreciate flower friends. All of you and Gina because I um, do not think that my my season this year would have been as successful if I did not bring in other flower friends with me Gina especially because um, she is just allowing me to offer so many more than I that I normally can and I, my first time that I that I bought flowers from her to add to what I have was a few weeks ago and they just were so well received and her her blooms are just they're just gorgeous and I did have some crops that died this year let's be honest I had crops that died and I with my own flowers can absolutely supply 20 bouquets a week with what I'm growing and with supplementing with Gina's flowers I'm able I've been doing uh, 50 bundles a week and um, that's just amazing I wouldn't have been able to do it without her and um, next year she's gonna have her own flower stand I'm already crying because because I know that I'm not going to be able to get Gina's blooms and that just gives me more motivation to keep on top of my seedlings because now I know what the end result is and uh, you know my first time growing a few things this year like Lysianthus I should have been more on top of those seedlings when I saw the LG start I was like Meh, whatever whatever but now after seeing how beautiful and gorgeous these Lysianthus flowers are, and it's not just the Lizzie's, it's it's the Celosia, it's it's everything, the um, the red the red spike amaranth, and Gina says that's fine to cut to cut it, it's fine. So I'm gonna go cut it for tomorrow morning for Saturday. So what I'm doing is, and if you follow me on any other platforms, you know that I'm doing two bouquet bars. I've been asked 
for multiple times by a few different people to have an evening bouquet bar. Um, and here's some of the reac reaction that I got uh, when I posted that. Oh my god, does that say that she's doing a nighttime bouquet bar? It says she's doing a nighttime bouquet bar. Oh my god, oh my god, this is not a drill! That's my girl, Lily. Uh, that's the girl I made the peach bouquet. She's one of my CSA members. Um, I made that peach um, bundle of joy for her in a couple of videos, videos ago. Before I posted that video, um, I got a message from Lily and she's like, you know me, you really know me. This is beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thank you. And um, so I'm doing a Friday evening, which is today. I've been at a, a local school district today doing a video for uh, local administrators and um, just got back home, ate lunch. Now I'm getting ready. My bouquet bar is at five o'clock this evening from five to seven. And then tomorrow from eight to noon, the normal time. So I have, I created a Facebook event for this so uh, people could share it, people could see it. And also I'm doing a giveaway, a, a, like, Okay, so I got an email from one of my CSA members, Amy, and she said that she is going to be out of town this weekend, and if I would please donate her bouquet. I just have the best CSA members and the best community. I'm, I'm so spoiled. I swear I am. And I also have to clean the porch. It's pretty gross. Meh. Look at my porch table, guys plastic bags look at all the all the stems um, this is a, an arrangement that I made for myself a couple weeks ago it's the basil starting to get wrinkly all my seed packets my books my vases etc etc everything is um, just all over the place so <laughs> I gotta clean the porch but let's check out the flowers oh, this is how I feel when I see all these flowers <laughs> Something just fell. It was my straw flower. Fortunately, there's no water in the spice. So, I have all of these beautiful summery things. I have some of the amazing snow mountain and the edgeratum and celosia and the gladiolas and i have buckets of sunflowers i gotta go get them i harvested again this morning and then i have like three buckets of gladiolas and um i have even more to go cut if i wanted to i probably will before tomorrow morning and then i have that amazing chalkboard thing that my husband bought me because he's the bomb.com and oh where's he going just pull out of the driveway he's got the gas can oh he, he was rolling the lawn he ran out of gas so brad said going to get gas Cucumber. Check, check it out. I recruited my children to help me. Okay, so I'm getting there a little bit at a time. Um, my daughter's gonna come out and help me strip some leaves. Um, so last night I took, this was a, a huge bucket mess. Um, I went and I, I stripped all the leaves and I cut them into mostly individuals. Some have a double stem, but that's just easier for people to, to take them out and try them out. Um, like this has a multiple stem and I left it like this because it's, it's fun. Like this is a multiple stem, but most of them are single stems. And now I'm going through and like cleaning up any leaf stuff on them, any leaves, etc., etc. I have way too many zinnias in a bucket right now, so I am separating those out so people can, I don't know, it's hard to rifle through a giant bucket full of blooms, so I'm kind of trying to make more buckets with fewer blooms so it's easier to pick what you want. So I am taking all the red zinnias out and putting them in this vase right here, and I'm taking any of the extra foliage off. Woo. Oh, um, some people are, I might, um, cut these down a bit actually some people are emailing me and I don't know where they're coming from or where they're going but I got a notification I think five or six people over the last couple of months have emailed me and I, I don't know where they're um, where it's coming from or where it's going it's not going into my email I got a notification on my Google Drive 
um, that had, like it said, you have email alerts, but it didn't show me like an email. I think Alicia was, Alicia was one of them, Alyssa, Gail, um, I think there was an Annie on there. Um, but I don't know where you're emailing me, but um, if you guys want to email me, my email address is flowerhillfarmny at gmail.com. That's my email address, flowerhillfarmny at gmail.com. I, I have a lot of people sending me messages on Instagram um, and my, my business Facebook page, Flower Hill Farm. Um, but the, the best way and the, like, so I see it is in my email because, um, and I'm trying to answer everyone. I really am. It's hard to keep up. It's okay. I'm, gonna, I'm getting there. Veda, Veda told me she would be my personal assistant. Hummingbird. Nope. Dragonfly. <gasps> Hello. Come here, friend. He's here. He's here. He's on the porch. Okay. Oh my god. He keeps circling me. Dragonflies are a huge thing for me, guys. Um, once again, don't want to cry on a video, but um, I lost an uncle who was extremely close to me at a very young age. He was only 53, um, six years ago now. And a dragonfly was kind of like our thing. They would land on him. I, have, I actually have pictures of dragonflies on him. Um, and after his very sudden passing, it's become a, a symbol of our family connection with him and it's beautiful so every time a dragonfly is here oh my gosh God. plans changed just slightly um i have um i had a lot more prep work than i thought hours have gone by i have not made a bouquet yet except for this one because one of my CSA members, the only one I deliver to, the only one to whom I deliver, lives around the corner from me, and she requested a dozen glads this week. So I am going to bring this to her, and by the time I get back here, I don't know if I'm gonna have any time, so I think if someone comes on the porch and wants a, a pre-made bouquet, then I'll just make it for them quickly. Okay, so the bouquet bar is gonna open up in about 40 minutes, but I just went and harvested more of my this is the gold Lysianthus. I don't even want to put it out. I want to keep it. It's so pretty. So it's more of a, like a butter yellow. It's beautiful. I'm so excited to order my seeds. Oh, so Gina was telling me, um, they discontinued Roseanne Brown. They discontinued Roseanne Brown. I think they still have a Roseanne Dark Brown, but the Roseanne Brown that I grew, I don't have it anymore, but the one with, I'll put a picture on the screen. I don't know why, I, that's all I wanted to grow next year. I mean, obviously not all, but I really wanted to grow that one next year, so I have one more in the field, one more and I'm gonna try and save seeds from it. I've never done that before. But I really, 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 really love Roseanne Brown and I cannot let it stop. So, I am going to do my best to save seeds from Roseanne Brown. Four fifty nine, and my first customer is here, and it's my grandma. And my mother dyed her hair blonde. What? What's your hair? I your hair is blonde. Told you I was gonna do it. Hey, I love it. Because the people that yeah. call me, I don't know. <laughs> The eagle has landed. <laughs> look how beautiful. What a, I wish my porch looked like this. These are uh, absolutely, yeah. these are the, um, seniors? No. Yep. Yeah.
you told me that the, if the blossoms on the end of the, or on the bottom of the gladiolus gets lifting to pull it off. So I went all the way up to head button. This much left. <laughs> yeah. And I got a little tiny glass to put them in the glass. And this morning they were all done. Aww. So I had to, I felt guilty throwing them out. It's hard Can't to do. do it. It's hard Can't to do. do. So I boxed them all up. I had a little chicken in it, wouldn't lay an egg, so I poured out water up and down her and they pulled a little chicken hollered and the little chicken squawked. Little chicken played out, laid a hard boy way, bump, bump, bump. Hey, Blondie. Hey. <laughs> oh, somebody's here. Hello. Hello. Just be nonchalant. I mean, I do have a YouTube channel. It has four whole videos on it. Ah, Jealous. Hi, flower friends. I brought very important gardener fuel. <laughs> it's not coffee, but I figure at nighttime maybe this will suffice. I love you. Do they want to be in there? Listen, that's all. Spin, do your little spin. Oh, yay. She's very pretty. I'm very happy. You did so good. And then, of course, I arrange them, so. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so I'm exhausted. Um, it's over, 7.30-ish. We had about a dozen customers, which is great for our first Friday. Um, so those dozen customers made their own bouquets. They ranged anywhere between 10 and $40. I had a few $40 bouquets tonight. So um, a lot of the Lysianthus is gone. The first two customers cleaned me out of sunflowers. I have very few sunflowers left. I have to go harvest right now, actually, um, for tomorrow morning's bouquet bar. And then I have to harvest more gladiolas. Those, those did not do um, as well tonight. I mean, I sold probably 30 stems of gladiolas, but usually the buckets are empty, which is good because then I'll have some for tomorrow because my Saturdays are usually my busy day anyway. So, I can't believe. Lily, you brought me some water, my sparkling water. Um, I drank a few cups of coffee during the evening, and then I had some uh, some great girls come here from the Utica area, which is about half an hour north of me. Um, and they um, they are so sweet, adorable, and they love my chickens. And uh, it's always nice to meet new people. So um, yeah, really enjoyed the company. Yeah, that's the best part about this is that everyone comes and shares stories with me, and I just love it so much. And my grandparents, I have not been able to hug my grandmother and my grandfather for like six months now. It's the longest in my life. We're pretty tight, we're pretty close. Like butter and toast close. It's been difficult. So it was the first time my grandmother's been here in a while. So she hasn't, has not been leaving the house, you know? So anyway, it just was a really a great evening and we just ordered um, some food. Brad Pitt's gonna go pick it up. Go get that food! <laughs> I'm getting a big sub. <laughs> I'm starving, so. All right, I'm gonna go um, put this video together, throw it up there, and eat my food, because I'm starving, so. That's what happened, like, I didn't think about it. The bouquet bar from five to seven, like, that's prime eating time, and I'm out on the porch, and I didn't have a chance to make any dinner, and of course, like, nobody else thinks about food. I get text message from my son, my, we, gave my son a phone today. He got his very first phone and it's for like contacting mom and dad and that's what it's for. It's not like one of those he's not going to be on his phone all day long but the very first text I get from my son is I'll show it to you. <laughs> we are going to hide his phone number. That's the very first text I get from my son. It's a gif. <laughs> I don't even think he knows who Homer Simpson is. I think he just probably typed in snacks or something into his thing. <laughs> He's so cute. Anyway. Hey. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry if you're you're one of those people who have the um the Yonzies. Oh, okay. Okay. Sunday morning. It's all set. Sunday morning, I'm having coffee with Dr. A, with Dr. Alan Armitage. He's the specialty cut flowers guy. Hey, Veda. Hello. And um, 
we're gonna do a Zoom meeting and we're gonna record the Zoom and then I'm gonna share that with you guys. I'm so excited. Um, if you guys have any questions for Dr. A, um, he's just gonna, we're just gonna chat. We're just gonna chat and he's gonna talk about his book, Special Chick Up Flowers. He's gonna, he has a bunch of other books. We're gonna talk about all of his books and, and then he's gonna tell me stories. Guys, that's pretty cool. Hey babe. Oh, she's going with Brad to pick up the food. Thank you so much for spending some time on the porch with me. Oh, have you guys seen the porch lights yet? That's pretty awesome. These are my porch lights. So um, I'll put a link to them down below. So these are Einstein <laughs> Edison bulbs. Oh my God. <laughs> They're Edison bulbs and I had to buy, They're, they have an 18 inch spacing. <laughs> Edison bulbs. I had to buy four or five uh, lengths of them in order to reach the porch and it, it actually wraps around and goes around the corner too. So um, they're awesome and they set such a mood at night that you, like from the road, like you can't really see it from the road because the trees have leaves on right now. But um, And we left them up all winter long because the porch is covered, they're fine. So, and I haven't had a bulb, I haven't lost a bulb yet, knocking on wood on that one, but yeah, so. My cozy porch, I love it. And so in the future, I want to like host, um, not bouquet bar, because I'm already doing that, but like an evening, like a, a who, does, who said like a, a rose and rose. So, I don't know if you heard that, but he just peeled out of the driveway. Okay, so he did that on purpose. I would have texted his butt right now. You, you son of a thrip. <laughs> So anyway, I want to host something on my porch in the evening underneath the lights where you come and we do like a bouquet building seminar, like a little session where um, I'll tell you, okay, you know, you do this and then you do this and then you put this in and then a little of that, a little of this, a little of everything and then boom and you had to sip your champagne or your sparkling water, or whatever have you. So anyway, I'm really excited. I think my, my porch is just this perfect place to host all these things. So anyway, again, I'm rambling. Okay, bye guys. So I was gonna end the video um, Friday night and do another video today, someone's coming out on the porch. Um, but I ended up not doing that. Where's Brad Pitt? Walk through. <laughs> so um, I didn't have a chance last night to edit the video and post it. So um, I did another big bouquet with the Saturday morning bouquet bar today. And this is all I have left. So I have um, this small amount stuffed right here. Oh, I made I made a couple. I did end up making a couple of. We well, can't really see cutesy things. I just did like a peach and purple coral um, euphorbia. Which, by the way, I got the sap all over my hands. It didn't. Nothing happened. So I'm not. Um, allergic to it or anything. Um, who knows, maybe like larger amounts. Okay, so then down there, that's what I have left zinnia-wise. Um, and then I have some fillers left over. I actually went out to the garden and ended up having to cut, look what I cut. Check this baby out. Check him out, isn't he cool? This is supposed to be a coxcomb solosia. Um, and it's like obviously faciated like crazy. Anyway, so I cut a whole bunch of these um, because I ran out. So I have a whole bunch of these stems. Oh my gosh, I can't even see, guys. I'm so sorry. Coxcomb and then the the other coxcomb and then the pompous plumes. Exhausted. At least 30 customers today, and everyone bought something. So, um, you know, somewhere 10, I think this the cheapest I think I had today was a $12 bouquet, um, up to someone bought a $50 bouquet, and I took a picture of it. Oh my God, gorgeous. So excited about it. Um, so really, it was a great day. I had people travel from over half an hour to come, multiple people. Some of them watch me on the news. Um, I do that garden segment on the news, and uh, others just, um, somebody told their hairdresser about me and they found me through there and then um, yeah so they're just finding me on YouTube too I had some some viewers come and uh, one of them was like oh my god 
on the I'm on the porch. So it was it was adorable, really. It was just a great day, and I just posted something on my Facebook, and um, I said like my like flower friends are quickly becoming flower family, and that's a fact, Jack. That's a fact. So I am gonna go edit this video together so I can post something for you guys this weekend. So take care, everybody.